Well, one of the things that we really want the guests to experience when they come to Nyer Wine Estates is really a gracious way of living. Nyer Wine means an estate bottled wine, as good as we can possibly make. We were determined to make the best quality wine that could conceivably be done using our own grapes. I have this amazing opportunity to be the winemaker for a 100% estate vineyard. I think one of the things that wine country has to offer is a relaxing and comfortable environment where people can gather together and, uh, with friends and family and really enjoy themselves. That's the big part of what wine contributes to an occasion. I would have to say my basic winemaking philosophy is taking what I get from the grapes, taking what, I, what we grow here and make balanced wines, elegant wines, food friendly wines. This is our Sauvignon Blanc. Nice roundness to balance that tart impression on the mouth. Sangiovese, we go a little lighter on oak. Slightly more delicate wine. We use a little bit less new oak and keep it in barrels a little bit shorter. Merlot, one of the Bordeaux varieties, often uses a blender wine. Ripe fruit, good integration of oak. Cab is our dominant acreage in the vineyard. It's planted on both vineyards. Balance, food friendly, very approachable wines. Niner Wine Estate's Twisted Spur. It has Rhone varieties and Bordeaux varieties. It's about 50% Merlot. And then Cab Franc, Syrah, Petit Syrah. Syrah, traditionally grown in the Rhone region of France, has lovely Syrah varietal character. Nice long finish, fruit flavors going to the very end. Nine or Wine Estates Podcatcher. It is our flagship wine. This is a blend of traditional Bordeaux varieties. Basically a reserve for us. It's barrel select. We use 100% French oak. 500 cases a year. Complexity, aromas, flavors, changes in the glass. Built to last. Energy efficiency, super important to us. We have all the lighting on daylight sensor first, secondly motion sensor, and their time to turn off. The walls were all tilt up concrete construction. Super important to conserve water as much as possible. We're capturing all the rainwater from the roof. It's about 36,000 gallons of water per inch of rainfall which completely offsets all of the water use for the winery, all of the water use for landscaping, plus a percentage of our irrigation needs. And basically, our architect Tim Woodle said to us, if you're gonna do all this stuff, you should really get some credit for it. So we looked into the LEED certification by the U.S. Grain Building Council, and we are certain to get, at minimum, their basic certification, and we're hoping for silver. Well, one of the things I enjoy doing is teaching people about wine. I think it's a wonderful addition to the regular wine tasting experience, getting a little bit more background, uh, getting some history and information. The wine has followed man all through history and vice versa. So it's a big part of what we do here at Niner Wine Estates, not only uh, myself, but with the rest of our staff. We want to give people something to take home with them. If it's not a bottle of wine, we want them to take home a little bit of information that they didn't know beforehand and we'll be able to share with others. This is a spectacular place to be and, and we wanted the buildings to echo that. We control the whole process from the, from the growing of the grape to the producing of the wine to the selling of the, of the wine. And uh, the reason for that is simply to keep the quality as high as it can conceivably be growing in this area. It's just going to get better and better. We're really looking forward to that. And that's what we do here at Niner Wine Estates. We grow great fruit and we make it into great wines.